This is you. You stand around and watch all the opportunities go by. You sit there, you sit there, you sit there. Oh, maybe, maybe the next one. Maybe the next one. Maybe the next one. Oh, no, no, I'm tired now. Maybe the next one, maybe the next one. And there comes somebody like me, just jumps on the f***er and eats it. Maybe the next one, Ray. Who in this room is that male lion? Once you become fearless, life becomes limitless. The difference between me and everybody in this room is I have no fear of anything. Not physically, not mentally, not emotionally, psychologically, whatever adjective you want to use, or maybe throw in a few adverbs, I have no fear. We take too much time procrastinating. We're worried about what other people think. We're trying to fit in. And I can go through a whole litany of bullshit. Now, it's not bullshit because it's not true. Litany of stuff why you are where you are because you just didn't do it. You didn't want to make a mistake. You got a mortgage. You got uh, two ex-wives. You got a 15-year-old daughter who's uh, pregnant. I can go on and on and on and on. But the bottom line is, if you had 15 years ago, you had just done it. 10 years ago, you had just done it. Five years ago, if you had just done it. Six months ago, if you had just done it, you probably wouldn't be in the position you're in now. So I'm saying no matter what your age is, it's still time to just go out and do it. You want to take the easy way out because you think life is a journey. How good is a journey? You tell me. Most people in this room and most people listening on YouTube have to come to the realization, as sad as it is, that you have urinated your entire life. Very simple. That's it. If you want to create massive wealth, if you just want to be a happy, slappy housewife from Dundee, or a happy, slappy bimbo from Toronto, or a happy, slappy guy who goes to the Little League game in Mesa, Arizona, then that's okay. But if you want to create some fucking money, and money's not everything, but if you don't think money can buy happiness, you don't know where to shop. If you don't think money can buy happiness, you don't know where to shop. You can get money and then go save the world. You can get money and save the forests in Brazil. You can make money and go save global warming. You can, I mean, and save the kids in Biafra and all that. But without money, you can't save a thing. Don't you understand? Until you make some shekels. Until you make some coins. You can't help anybody. Make two lists. One list, your goals. Intermediate, short-term, long-term goals, okay? Both in personal and business. Then you put another list together and you say who you met with from Sunday midnight till Saturday midnight for one week. Who you talked to or who you met with, okay? And you put the list together. Okay, and let's say there's 50 people on this list. Now, you put a number by every person that you emailed, Skype, tweet, link, and which one of your goals on this other side of the paper they have anything to do with. You will be staggered, stunned. Show me your friends and I'll show you your future.